Fuel prices are on track to break records this summer, with some experts predicting the price of 91 octane will climb to $3.50 by Christmas. It comes almost three months after the government's fuel tax subsidy ended. Here's our reporter Lucy Thompson. Everywhere you look, petrol prices are going up, up, up. Well, I don't think anybody's particularly happy. Oh, I'm basically living paycheck to, paycheck to paycheck, so it's definitely not helping. $43. Uh, that was for about a quarter tank. We've seen a sudden spike in prices. Since the um, fuel excise duty discount was stopped, that added uh, 29 cents to a litre of fuel. But there's been about another 34 cents added just by crude going up uh, by about a third. Brent crude rose to 95 US dollars a barrel overnight, its highest level this year. And it's those rising oil prices, a weak New Zealand dollar and the closure of the Marsden refinery that's putting pressure on prices here. When you see that price of $95 a barrel, that's for October contracts. So we're yet to see those prices flow through. He says the so-called average for 91 octane is currently sitting around $3.10, but... By Christmas, um, we will see it closer to $3.50, then we'll see it to $3. Well and truly surpassing records. But if it's any consolation, we're not the only country experiencing price hikes. Motorists are set to be slugged again at the Basel. The motorists are being warned of a potential surge in fuel prices. But one AUT professor says most New Zealanders have little choice but to keep paying for it. We've got to the point where there's not the option of taking public transport. There's not the option for a lot of people of taking active transport. We've got individuals who are trapped in auto mobility, we call it. Uh, they're trapped in the automatic assumption of getting in a car as soon as they want to go somewhere. And if you thought you'd swap the roadie out for a flight this summer... Price of aviation fuel has gone up 30% in the last couple of months, so our flying as well as our driving is going to become more expensive. With Christmas approaching, the dream gift could be an EV, but they're not exactly cheap either. Well, Lucy's with us now. Kia ora, Lucy. So what are petrol companies saying? Good evening, Mike. Well, those I spoke to reiterated there's a number of factors which influence price, including global market fluctuations, shipping costs, the price of carbon and, of course, local competitive pressures. But a Z spokesperson I spoke to today said that they review prices daily and sometimes make up to 50 price changes a day in order to keep up with the market and ensure customers get a fair deal. But, Mike, as you heard there in my story, it sounds like there is going to be more pain at the pump to come. Lucy, tēnā koe.